SEMA show in Las Vegas at what we call SEMA Central. And sometimes you get lucky enough to bump into a famous person or a celebrity or a living legend like the lovely Miss Linda Vaughn. Thank Linda, you. thank you so thank much you, for Kevin. joining us today. It's such a pleasure to be here. It's so wonderful to be at SEMA always. Well, and you uh, you kind of go hand in hand with SEMA. You've been involved with the organization forever. You've... Since it started. Yeah. <laughs> I was two. <laughs> right. Started coming no, here it's been, it's been a before. lifetime uh, of uh, appreciation for the people who love our equipment and our our cars and our people who build safe products for our, our race car drivers. So I'm always so involved with it because I love SEMA. I think SEMA is my middle name. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I mean, like I said, you uh, you're very present at SEMA Thank and you've you. always been. Thank so you. Uh, what I think is also quite admirable is how much of an ambassador you've been for this whole. Uh, industry. Well, thank you. You know, I, can, I go all over the world and everyone always has to be about SEMA. And there's a lot of people here today from Sweden. I want to say Jagel Skaskadei. Really? The king of Sweden is a friend of mine and his son. He has a Mustang with a Hearst shifter in it. Of course, <laughs> But I wanted to welcome them back to the United States. And, and all you guys that have shifted my gears and girls all these years, I appreciate you. Yeah, well, we appreciate everything you've done. Thank you. And, you know, you, you touch on something there, the opportunities that are available in this industry if you step up to take them. Oh, absolutely. And there's no age limit in this industry. You know, I love the young guys that are out here working on girls. I was the first girl in shop class. Mm. I was in shop class. I don't believe it. And I was the only girl. But I loved it. And I learned how to drive a 57 Chevrolet with a Hearst shifter in it and, and the clutch and the Edelbrock manifold. I mean, I learned all about the car parts that went in the muscle cars of America. And I'm still true blue to my American cars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what would you tell somebody who's a young person that feels like they're on the outside looking in that wants to get involved with this industry? What, what kind of inspiration would you give them? Make sure your daddy and granddaddy give you their muscle car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that helps. Really and truly, just come and see the new, the, the new products that are, are safer products. There's so much to learn. And uh, there again, it's like music in here. There's no age limit to what we're doing and our future. And you know, we love American and we love having the show. So I'm just saying, do what your heart wants to do, but just make sure it's SEMA approved. There you go. <laughs> and uh, you recently authored a book? Oh yes, I did. <laughs> It's, I cannot believe I, I, my first book, and, and we're really excited about it. And, um, and you can also come by and see me and get a card if we run out of books today, mm -hmm. because uh, I want to make sure Christmas is coming up, and so I made some postcards up so you guys can order it for your for your father or your friend and girls for your husbands and your boyfriends. So y'all come by and see me at 11 o'clock here at the SEMA booth. Now I know that the book is obviously kind of a look back at uh, at your career. Is there any favorite stories in the book? Uh, well, the book is a coffee table edition with lots of pictures. And I think when you read the words that go with the pictures, it's just been wonderful. This, I haven't told too many stories, mm -hmm. just enough to get started. This is my beginning book. I oh, hope right I live on. long enough to do a dozen books well, because there's the book about IndyCar racing, NASCAR racing, NHRA, building cars, SEMA cars. You know, I had built a hot rod for SEMA years ago. So there's so many books that's in my heart and mind. I just hope I live long enough to do them. <laughs> oh, well, you're, you're still obviously going strong, and, and those stories need to be told. Yes, a, they're great stories. They don't hurt people. They help people. Yeah. So is there a favorite uh, type of <laughs> racing that you like? Oh, you put me on the spot. Well, in February, of course, it's Pomona in HRA, and then down to Daytona, NASCAR, and then back up to the Gainesville Gator Nationals, and then over to this one and that one at car shows and races. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's according to what month it is, because my favorite month, I have to say, are February and May. Nice. Those are some of the best races in the whole world. And, uh, the Indy 500, I go every year for the last 55 years to the Indy 500. <laughs> Incredible. I only missed one when I was in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. yeah but hopefully you caught it on television. Oh, yes, I sure yeah. did. I made my doctor watch with me. There you and go. And I had on my Indy 500 shirt over my gown, 15 <laughs> tubes. But thank you all for your cards and your letters and your prayers because I'm back. <laughs> well, the great thing is you are back. Well, and, you. uh, and you're kind of... 
uh, universal with all <laughs> kinds of racing. Oh, it's and, wonderful. And the, of course, the Hearst brand and Americana yeah. and, and also for SEMA. Oh, so we, we really appreciate you, you. Uh, being out there thank and you. doing what My you My heart doing. is here. Thank yeah, you so thank much. Thank you so Ted. much. Thank you. Did I get a kiss? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now thank you. I'm the lucky one. Thank you so much, Linda. Another you, magic moment here at the SEMA show, 2018 in Las Vegas with Linda Vaughn. Thank you. <laughs> thank y'all.